Good evening, it's Glenn the Ball Chef. This evening I'm going to put together uh, chicken cacciatore. It's a very rustic dish. Uh, in Italian, uh, chicken cacciatore means prepared hunter style. Uh, there are a couple different versions out there. Uh, in the southern part of Italy, uh, red wine is used to prepare this dish. Up north, they use white wine, and that's the version that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to show you a step-by-step -step method to put together this uh, Italian specialty dish chicken cacciatore together. So let me show you how it's done. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take about four or five tablespoons of uh, flour. We'll season that up with about 10 rotations of cracked black pepper and about a uh, tablespoon or so of just salt. Mix that flour together. And what we're going to do is I've taken uh, two pounds of chicken breasts. A lot of uh, recipes call for whole chicken. I just like the breast meat myself. And I'm just going to flour all this up. And uh, we'll set these flour pieces aside. Uh, we'll flour the entire chicken. And uh, after I've got all this floured up, I'll come back and I'll show you the next step. Next step in this is we're going to take oh, a good uh, four or five uh, tablespoons of good quality extra virgin olive oil. We'll bring that up to heat. We have uh, um, breaded our chicken, a little bit of the flour and salt and pepper us, and just set these into the uh, oil. We're going to brown these off on both sides and uh, after I've got all these pieces of chicken laid up in here, we'll flip them over. Again, like I said, a lot of people like to use uh, just a whole chicken, but myself, I'm pretty partial to uh, the chicken breast meat. You can do it either way. You can use a whole cut up chicken. But uh, let's let these cook here for a bit, and uh, we'll come back here after these are browned off, and I'll show you the next step. All right, we got the oil drained off here. We put about four cloves of garlic in here, season up a little bit of that oil there. I've taken four, four uh, Italian plum tomatoes. Uh, I have taken the skins off of those. We're going to put that right in here with the, uh, the chicken, along with a medium white onion that I've sliced up thinly. We'll mix that right in there. And uh, we've got some uh, sliced, just regular green peppers that we're going to put in here with our brew. Uh, of course, uh, this just wouldn't taste right with that little uh, spice to it. I'm going to put about a tablespoon of uh, Italian crushed red peppers in here. And to that, we will now stir this around a little bit here. Mix this up a little bit. Get all that seated down in there nicely. Add in about 16 ounces of uh, thinly sliced button mushrooms. If you don't like mushrooms, you don't have to put them in there. Now what we're going to do next, we're going to put in about a cup of white wine. If you don't like wine, don't put any in. If you like a little bit more, you can put some more in. This is the northern version, so we're using a white wine. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put in about 8 ounces of just tomato sauce. I'm going to stir this around. I've lowered the heat down to uh, medium. And we're just going to let this uh, simmer here for about uh, 30 minutes. And we'll come back and uh, take a look at it. All right, we're about 30 minutes in here. Vegetables have softened up nicely. Let's give this a taste. Man, that's got everything in it, but it's missing one thing, some aromatics. We're gonna put in some fresh basil that I've chopped up here. You could use rosemary. Uh, I like basil, I think it's a perfect marriage with the tomato. We need a little bit of salt here, so we're going to hit this with uh, about another teaspoon of salt. 
and just for fun we'll round off uh, another five rotations or so of black pepper we'll give this a stir and uh, let this go for about another five minutes I think we'll be about ready to plate this up I think we got this all together now I've got some freshly prepared linguine we can plate this up with a couple pieces of chicken here ladle on uh, some of this uh, sauce with all the fresh plum tomatoes in it mushrooms garlic onion oh my god that's gonna be good and then we'll hit this up with a little bit of cheese and uh, come back take a look at it and uh, see how this thing came out all right folks there's the money shot it's the Italian chicken cacciatore northern style if you like what you see give me a sub give me a like check me out on Facebook uh, it's Glenn the Ball Chef and as always Bon Appetito